Yangtze River and the Mississippi River are two significant rivers with unique characteristics and historical importance. Here's a summary and some facts about each river, the Yangtze River. The Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia and the third longest river in the world, spanning approximately 6,300 kilometers, 3,915 miles, in length. It flows through China, from its source in the Tibetan Plateau to its mouth in the East China Sea near Shanghai. The river has played a crucial role in the development of Chinese civilization and is often considered the cradle of Chinese culture. It is home to several notable landmarks, including the Three Gorges Dam, which is the world's largest hydroelectric power station. The Yangtze River is known for its diverse ecosystems and rich biodiversity, housing many endemic species and serving as an important habitat for wildlife. The Mississippi River The Mississippi River is one of the longest rivers in North America, stretching approximately 3,730 kilometers 2,320 miles in length. It flows through the United States, from its source in Minnesota to its mouth in the Gulf of Mexico. The river has been an integral part of American history, playing a significant role in trade, transportation, and the exploration of the American West. It is known for its vast watershed, which covers a large portion of the central United States and includes several tributaries. The Mississippi River is renowned for its iconic role in literature, music, and culture, particularly in relation to the American South. Both rivers have shaped the civilizations and ecosystems around them, serving as important lifelines for agriculture, transportation, and human settlement. They hold cultural, historical, and ecological significance, contributing to the diverse tapestry of the regions they flow through. Certainly. Here's another paragraph highlighting some additional information about the Yangtze River and the Mississippi River. The Yangtze River has a rich history, with numerous ancient cultural sites located along its banks, including the cities of Shanghai, Wuhan, and Chongqing. It serves as a vital waterway for transportation and trade, facilitating economic growth and connecting various regions of China. The river also faces environmental challenges due to pollution and human activity, leading to conservation efforts to protect its ecosystems and endangered species such as the Chinese river dolphin and the Yangtze sturgeon. On the other hand, the Mississippi River holds great economic importance for the United States, serving as a major transportation route for goods and commodities. It has played a pivotal role in the agricultural industry, supporting the production and transport of crops such as corn, soybeans, and cotton. The river's vast floodplain and wetlands provide essential habitats for a diverse range of plant and animal species, making it a crucial ecological resource. Overall, both the Yangtze River and the Mississippi River hold significant cultural, historical, and ecological value. They have shaped the development of the regions they traverse and continue to be essential lifelines for the communities and ecosystems that rely on them. The Yangtze River and the Mississippi River are two of the largest rivers in the world. They are both important economic and cultural resources for their respective countries. The Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia and the third longest river in the world. It flows through China for 6,300 kilometers, from the Tibetan Plateau to the East China Sea. The Yangtze River is a major source of water for irrigation, drinking water, and hydroelectric power for China. It is also a major transportation route, and is home to a large number of industries. The Mississippi River is the second longest river in the United States. It flows for 2,340 miles from Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. The Mississippi River is a major source of water for irrigation, drinking water, and transportation for the United States. It is also home to a large number of industries. Here are some facts about the Yangtze River and the Mississippi River. The Yangtze River is home to over 300 million people, making it the most populous river basin in the world. The Mississippi River is home to over 100 million people, making it the second most populous river basin in the United States. The Yangtze River carries an average of 550 billion tons of sediment per year, making it the world's largest sediment-carrying river. 
The Mississippi River carries an average of 150 billion tons of sediment per year, making it the second largest sediment carrying river in the United States. The Yangtze River Delta is one of the most important agricultural regions in China. The Mississippi River Delta is one of the most important agricultural regions in the United States. The Yangtze River is a major source of hydroelectric power for China. The Mississippi River is a major source of hydroelectric power for the United States. The Yangtze River is a major transportation route for China. The Mississippi River is a major transportation route for the United States. The Yangtze River is home to a large number of industries. The Mississippi River is home to a large number of industries. The Yangtze River and the Mississippi River are both important resources for their respective countries. They provide water, food, transportation, and economic opportunities for millions of people. These rivers are also facing a number of challenges, including pollution, flooding, and climate change. It is important to manage these rivers sustainably to ensure that they continue to provide benefits for future generations. The Yangtze River and the Mississippi River are two significant rivers with unique characteristics and historical importance. Here's a summary and some facts about each river, 